when we started to do cochlear implants on both sides, what the fear was um, that we would wipe out balance function simply by the act of putting it in. And so all of a sudden we began to very carefully measure balance function and we realized that most of these children walk into our operating room already with balance dysfunction. It wasn't us doing it to them, it was their, their disease or their hearing loss that, um, that had that dysfunction associated with it. When we saw our patients and the dysfunction that they had and the challenges they had in their everyday life, that's really what inspired us to do something more than what was currently being done. And so what we're aiming to do is we've created a device that gives them back some of that information that they're missing about where their head and their body is in space when they're moving about the playground. And how we've done that is we've captured how their heads move. So we put a sensor on them, which has accelerometers and gyroscopes in it, and captures how that movement um, is happening. It then feeds that information back into their cochlear implants, which then get activated in response to that movement. And so it's in some ways replicating what our balance systems do for us without even thinking about it. Being an alumnus at U of T is, is a wonderful thing. You know, it's a, it's a place that's um, world renowned. Wherever you travel, people know the University of Toronto. Um, I think, you know, if I think about the nidus of this work, it, it began when I was um, a resident at the university and doing a master's, you know, through the Institute of Medical Science. And so it's really been an integral part of, of what we're doing here from the beginning. Um, and, you know, I, I hope that we'll make U of T proud, um, you know, by what what we're trying to accomplish here.